What's up YouTube, Mr. Lamassi here, and today we're going to be discussing D2R launch, uh, maybe some more mod pieces. I'll probably break it up into a couple different videos for all of this, but this is for Diablo 2 Resurrected modding. Now, the downsides of Diablo 2 Resurrected modding are one, uh, they removed our ability to build them online create like servers and, and have it all for that. So that part does suck. And there are still some limitations that they've put in place that make things like what we had with Pluggy um, and the infinite stash pages, not exactly how it, we, uh, or we can't have that anymore, right? They've kind of removed that. Um, so they've, they've nerfed it a little. But that being said, there is actually still a lot happening in the modding scene. Um, they don't allow code edit mods, there you go, which they allowed in Legacy, so that is the technical term of it. But that being said, there is still a lot that is happening in the mod scene, and I don't think a lot of people realize this because it's not super widespread. Everybody knows about Project Diablo 2 and P POD and all of the like, you know, Media and Excel, all of the Legacy mods, but I don't think people really know a lot about the mods uh, currently that are existing within the game. So there are a few. And first I wanna just discuss this D2R launch because this is a place where you can store and launch all of your mods from. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here and show this. I guess we should keep it windowed. So D2R launch is a place where you can have all of your mods and then you can also kind of mod the mods and do a little bit of stuff with it right there. So the first thing I can show you is any mods that you have, you can literally just click and choose from right here, and then you can download, play it, whatever from right there. So this is a mod manager. Yes, exactly. Um, so this right here, for instance, IGHE is Warren's uh, hero editor. This is a mod that I've already had installed on my computer, and it's great because you can go in and you can essentially hero edit your characters from within Diablo 2 and do all of that, really nice. Um, my custom mod is one that I created. Uh, remodded is the main one, that Bonesy. Bonesy is the main author here, and he is the uh, main author here as well for Remodded, so this is his mod that he's created for Diablo 2. I would definitely say, after looking around in it, it parallels Median XL um, to me. It's got many differences from Media and Excel. So it isn't just like a direct copy or anything like that, but it has similarities there. They've got some ideas that they've captured from it. Um, and it's one of those mods that really takes the game and starts to expand it and change it and create this whole new game that's very different um, using the Diablo 2 base. So less vanilla, more its own game with Diablo 2. Very cool though. Um, so there's just a lot of various mod pieces, but I want to talk first, like I said, more about this manager. So the first thing is you can always just go to download new mod. Right here are the three mods they have in their D2R modding database. Um, if you have a link to a zip, for instance, you can just go to uh, the GitHub that Warren has for IGHE, and you can just grab that from the code, the zip there. You could also uh, just you know, grab from this right here. And now we have La Muggy. Hey, look at that. So you can just install your mods right there from this. Um, oh gosh, how long for Lama to figure out how to change this? And then you can press play and you can go in and you can play um, the mod, right? So very nice there. Additionally, you have options over here. So you have, uh, continue. Uh, you have quality of life options with various pieces. Uh, if you want to, for instance, change the font, you can change the font in the game. Um, if you wish to, um, you know, oh my god, why, why are we, oh, it's probably because this is open. That's my guess. This is La Muggy, so we gotta, we'll just X out of that for there. Um, yeah, there we go. Did, didn't like having it all open at the same time. Let me restart. 
So you can go to the options, you can go to the quality of life, and here you can see you can change the font, you can set auto backup on characters, personalize your stash tabs. Um, so I could go in and, oh my God, why am I in these errors? I can go in, I'm so good at breaking things, and change this to like shared, change this to uniques, change this to rune words, whatever you want right there, you can apply those uh, and that will update your stash tabs. Um, skill buff icons if you want, just ignore these errors that I'm getting. You probably won't have them, I wasn't having any of these until I started streaming it. Um, you can, you know, set different icons over here and this will allow you to just see if you have these buffs up. It'll actually show it within the game, which is really cool. I really love that. Um, so if you want, you can enable that. Um, show item levels, you can enable if you would like. Uh, item display for how it looks when you press the alt. Um, monster stats display, if you wanna see, you can just click these little plus or these play symbols and it'll show you like this shows the resistances this shows like on runes it'll actually kind of give cool little display showing there immerse identifier super telekinesis look at that you can pick up items um there's like item display stuff so it's just really cool right this is all just some quality of life stuff there's also pieces within the customizations um where you can adjust things yeah, I'm just, I've just broken everything. Uh, I'm actually going to go home and get off of... I'm going to go to remod it and then we'll... Or my custom. Uh, where you can adjust, like, the density, right? You can adjust the average density, the average spawn chance for monsters there within every different act. You can adjust the drop so that you're getting rid of no drop, the experience that you're getting, the sizes of groups... Uh, champion pack sizes, all sorts of pieces on this. You can rename characters if you want um, within there. Uh, there's the Discord wiki and the Patreon if you have any questions or want to support. Um, you can go in and see the mod files actually. That'll open up and show you the different files within there. You can see the save files that you have uh, for the character. So I just have like this test character for my custom mod. Um, all of this, right? Again, and this is for each one of your different mods that you can have in here. You can go in and set up and adjust different pieces based on how you would like to have it, which is great. Uh, so that is the mod manager um, and that will take care of that. Now, the final piece I really want to discuss with the mod manager is the vault, which is down here. This is the like the big piece about it i mean it's still great that i can easily bounce between all of my mods right if i want to do my quick hero editor i can just launch it from right here if i want to do whatever i can just launch those from right here um, but the vault is really the beauty because the vault is the pluggy stash and the grail tracker and all of that behind the scenes right so what we can get is we can look and see within our item gallery, we can actually look at and see all of the different items that we have or don't have right in here. And then if we go to, of course, to our stash vault, we can look and we can actually move things around within our different tabs. And this is, you know, this will then be within the game. So you have that, you have, like I said, in the item gallery, you have, um, let me reload on that, whatever. You have, you know, any grail stash pieces and you can take anything out of the game. So let's say, okay, I've got my Alma Negra right here. I can move, well, let's just move all of these. I have actually removed all of these items and they are now in the vault. So if I come over here, oh wait, that's gonna be it's annoying. It'll reload there and I can actually take a look uh, in my vault here. I, I've busted it a little, so ignore all of my brokenness uh, from it. But normally you would be able to go over here and see whatever it is. Let me 
restart the vault really fast and that'll do it. There's still some bugs, it's a little beta. So we can go over here and we can see, okay, javelins, right, show in vault. And I can actually see within the vault the javelins that I have. And this is now in my stash, right? So we have taken it out of the game. So if I, you know, launch this game up, we'll see that I don't have it in my stash anymore. And it's now moved into this back stash behind. So this shared tab, which was that first tab, has none of that. And then if we go back to the vault, I can move it. Game is currently using active files. I close the game down. Uh -huh. Always gotta be careful with that stuff. And we'll take it here again. And I'll go ahead and move this into that tab. And so then again, whenever, now that it's there, I could relaunch the mod and this will then be over there. So it is a way that you can have all of that um, and track it and do whatever. Here we can see there's the javelins, right? Um, it's over there, that's fine. Uh, so it's, it's got this additional nice aspect to it on top of the actual mod manager. And you can manage um, the various folders for each of your mods. So this is a way that I can have a vault for my mod of remodded. Then I could have a vault for my, you know, my BT Diablo mod. I can have a vault for my La Muggy mod. Whatever it is, I can have it there, um, which makes it really nice. So that is kind of the big benefit uh, to the vault right there is it really brings, and just to this mod manager overall, it really brings in a lot of the additional support to mods that didn't quite get as much support or don't really have a lot of support otherwise, um, which is nice, right? Because yes, there is still things like Go Mule and that stuff, which is great for being able to shift items in and out, um, but this kind of gives love to mods. Uh, which is always great. We love mods in Diablo 2. So, yeah, I really I really think this is awesome. I really think he's done a great job. Um, and then again, just between all of the, like, different quality of life pieces and stuff, the one thing I, I super loved was those skill buff icons, um, being able to see how, you know, burst of speed is active and see how many charges I have on my martial arts assassin. I showed that off before. Um, it's it's really really nice so it just kind of makes all this way easier uh, which is fantastic so shout out to bonesy for making this mod manager he is constantly updating it constantly doing more with it um yeah there's there's you know it's it's gonna have bugs but he's constantly pushing out changes so there will be stuff if you do run into some bugs uh, you can always let, you know, post in the comments down below, probably the best spot. I'll tell Bonesy to check there for the bugs. Um, or you can message Bonesy underscore D2R, B-O-N-E-S-Y, uh, on Twitch with uh, some bugs or issues or comments or anything. I'm sure he'd love to get flooded with it. So, yeah, that is the uh, mod manager. I hope that this is helpful, useful to you all, and I will dive further into like his mod and other mods uh, in the next video. Peace, YouTube.